Hey guys, welcome to lesson six, and we are going to continue on with the factoring. Um, so when you see factor completely, a lot of times you're going to like factor, or factor on GCF, and then possibly have to factor again. So um, there's usually more than just like one step here. So we want to start off with this one and see if you can factor that. So this is just um, a common mistake. So remember how I said that the signs need to be the same when this is plus. And um, so the only way to do that is to like to get the 4x is um, to have the signs be different. So don't force it. If you can't factor it, don't. So this just can't be factored. And that's okay. Um, okay, so for this second one, remember that first, um, the thumb is um, factored out of GCF. So we're going to do that first. And then um, we are going to factor, notice that this is um, that difference of squares. And so we are going to factor that even more. So y to the third minus 1, y to the third plus 1. Because remember, I can take the square root of that and the square root of that and it's minus. Um, now I want to look at, oops, sorry, there's a plus there. Um, now I want to look at this. This is the sum of cubes and the dif <laughs> difference right, of cubes. And so I'm going to put each one of those up. So the formula here is going to be y minus 1 and then y squared plus 1y plus 1. And then this one is going to be y plus 1, y squared minus y plus 1. And so this whole thing is come out of this little bitty equation here, or sorry, expression, I guess. Okay, so um, the first thing that strikes me is that this is four plus terms, so I'm going to factor by grouping. Um, so go ahead and do that and just take that as far as you can. And um, let's go ahead and do this one as well. So what you should have seen is the way it's grouped, um, there's no way to like factor something out. So sometimes you have to like group them so you can factor something out. So I see that these have an S in common and these have a five in common. Um, let's go ahead and group those together. So go ahead and so the way I have it, and I didn't mean to do it this way, um, but it's going to be a B minus T. And so I definitely don't want that. I want T minus B. And so um, I can either like just take it and figure out what I need to factor out from here, or I can just go ahead and flip these around so that it looks like this. And that might be a little bit easier to work with. So I need this to be T minus B. So this is a little bit easier to see that I'm going to factor out a negative 5. So my final answer is S minus 5 times T minus B. Okay, on this one, um, this is that one where this is x squared, this is x to the fourth, but I don't like this negative here. So I'm going to factor that out to begin with. And now I'll go ahead and factor that. Okay, so we had um, the difference of squares here, so we had to take that even further, and this is my final answer. Okay. Um, go ahead and try these next two. So on this one, there's a couple different things you can do, and either way is totally okay. Um, you can go ahead and factor out a 5 to begin with because it has and an x, um, and then go from there, or we can do it at the end. So I'll show you um, like doing it at the end, but if you were to do it from the get-go, um, you would have um, x to the third, plus x squared minus 4x minus 4, and then do the factor by grouping here. But I'm going to go ahead and take it as is, and I'll show you what happens. So I just took it as is and did the factor by grouping. Just know when you get down here, you still have to take it, um, break it down more, because it has a 5x in common. And so I'm left with x squared minus 4 and then x plus 1, and again, we have a perfect square binomial, so I'm going to have 5x, x minus 2, x plus 2, 
and x plus 1 for my final answer. Um, so really, you just decide what's best for you. As long as at the end, we're both going to end, both ways will end up in the same place. Okay, this one, um, notice that this, this one right here is double this because this is like x to the first power. So I'm still going to think about it as um, like 2x squared plus, plus 5x plus 2. So let's go ahead and just work with that and do the AT method. So 4x, and so I already know it's not going to be an x, it's going to be w minus 15, but we'll kind of take care, care of that later. Okay, so um, okay, so this is how it's broken up, and we're in, we ended up with this, and so I have 2x plus 1 times x plus 2. But remember, our x is this. So I'm going to say 2 times w minus 15 plus 1, and then um, w minus 15 plus 2. So we're going to clean that up a little bit. So we have 2w minus 30 plus 1, and then I'll go ahead and combine that, w minus 13. And so my final answer is 2w minus 31, and then times w minus 13. And this is my final answer. And we are done with this lesson.